Well, hello everyone. We are back out here in Berea as the Browns prepare to take on the 5-2 Arizona Cardinals, those high-flying Cardinals coming to town. And uh, we have a little bit of a uh, Johnny news and some Josh news. Uh, first of all, Johnny Manziel met inside here last night with NFL investigators. Uh, he was represented by the NFLPA. No word yet. Uh, you know, I talked to the league today and they said it's still under review and they're not ready to make a decision yet. The wheels of the justice turn slow, don't they? Uh, and it, but you had said that you don't think it's going to impact the status of this week's game. Right. So that's important to, to note. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Now the next question becomes, who's going to be the quarterback, Mary Kay? Well, that's a great question, Tom. Uh, you know, we don't know for 100% sure yet, although I have been told that jo Josh McCown has expected to start ever since he had his MRI on Monday. He yeah. felt like if there was no structural damage, he was going to fight through the pain. Now he was back in practice today on a very, very limited basis, but he was out there, so he's moving in the right direction. Yeah, the, the portion that's open to us is about 20 minutes. I uh, was not wearing a helmet today, at least, in, again, the portion that we saw. We just kind of soft tossing the ball back and forth with Johnny Manziel. Uh, the little reps that we saw were being run by Johnny and by Austin Davis. But again, he still has a couple more days. He's a veteran quarterback. If he can go, I think there's a very strong chance it's going to be him. Yeah, and what they usually do in these kind of practices, they hold them out of the individual work, the position drills in the beginning of practice, and save them for just a little bit of teamwork when they're limited and trying to work their way back in. So we would necessarily would not see those right, kind of reps. Right. Uh, and then, again, Johnny's taking a lot of the first team reps. We talked to Flip today's coordinator day today, Tom. <laughs> can't, can't believe you went a minute into this video without mentioning <laughs> coordinator day. And uh, Flip says, hey, you know what? If we have to throw Johnny out there, he'll do just fine. Uh, we also talked to him a little bit about Dwayne Bow. With Andrew Hawkins out, Dwayne Bow might see the field. Possibly. Was that the word? Possibility. It's, it's still a possibility of him playing. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, I would, I just have a hard time believing that Hawkins, you know, would play given the yeah. concussion protocol. It would be very tough. I think. Yeah, there's a good chance that he will probably have to sit this one out. On the other hand, Joe Hayden, he'll be back with his concussion. Uh, he's cleared the concussion protocol, and we got an opportunity to talk to him today, and he's raring to go. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he can't wait to get back out there, help his team, and he's been missed. Let's let's be honest. I mean, the, the team hasn't necessarily pl played well in some of these games that he's been out. But when you put a guy like Joe Hayden in there, Tayshon Gibson, who we expect to have back, and also the team expects to have back Craig Robertson, Craig Robertson mm -hmm. uh, should help the defense. And boy, they're going to need it against this attack. They really will. Boy, as you go through, and we'll talk more about this in our preview of the Cardinals, but just a high-flying team scoring a lot of points and a lot of touchdowns. You need your Pro Bowl defensive backs. It, it's going to have to be all hands on deck. Paul Kruger sat out today with an illness, so the Browns, of course, are hoping he'll be back uh, on the field, and then Duke Johnson was back in action today. So uh, stick with us. We will have that preview coming up for you tomorrow, and we'll have it all right here on Cleveland.com.